This Equipment World video is brought to you by Chevron Dello 600 ADF Ultra Low Ash Diesel Engine Oil. It's time to kick some ash. Hi everyone, welcome back to Equipment World. You're watching The Dirt. I'm your host Brian and today we're here to talk about Doosan's new dozer offering. Yes, that's right. Doosan, the guys who have traditionally been in excavators and loaders, are now offering a dozer to their lineup. And they're starting that lineup out with the DD100. It's roughly equivalent to the old D3 Caterpillar or because Caterpillar changed all their nomenclature, the new D1. Which is it? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, to give you a little bit of a size comparison, that's roughly where the DD100 sits. It's coming in slightly heavier and with slightly more horsepower, but because Doosan hasn't given out the official numbers yet, we're not sure where they're going to settle with their actual production numbers. But here to talk more on this is Aaron Kleingartner from Doosan. But before we get into that, I want to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Chevron Lubricants. Protecting your diesel engine and its exhaust after treatment system has traditionally been seen as an either or proposition when it comes to choosing the engine oil that's going to protect your system. And that's exactly why Chevron spent more than a decade of R&D work developing a no compromise formulation. Now I don't have to tell you why a clogged DPF is bad news, but here's the real kick in the pants. 90% of that ash clogging up your DPF and then upping your fuel and maintenance costs? It comes from your engine oil. You might be thinking, why don't they make an engine oil with less ash in it then? You'll be happy to learn that Chevron agrees with you. They've developed a new ultra low ash diesel engine oil that is specifically designed to combat DPF ash clogging. Dello 600 ADF with OmniMax technology cuts sulfate ash by 60%, radically reducing the rate of DPF clogging and extending the DPF service life by two and a half times. Before you had to choose between protecting your engine or your after treatment system, now you don't. Dello 600 ADF with OmniMax technology. It's time to kick some ash. Well, Aaron, thank you for uh, agreeing to be on the dirt today. I really appreciate you taking your time. Well, absolutely. I'm excited to uh, visit with you and uh, look forward to our discussion. Yeah, absolutely. So my first question is very simple. What kind of inspired Doosan to step out into the dozer space? It's it's not super frequent that a manufacturer decides to step into an entirely new product line. You know, we regularly talk with our dealers and our customers about enhanced features on our products. And quite often in those discussions, other products in a product line that we don't offer come up. And dozers are typically the, the top of the list. And so when we were looking at that feedback, from our dealers, our customers, and really discussing, you know, what other opportunities are out there for us. Uh, dozers came to the top of that list quite regularly. And our design team said, hey, let's take a look at it, see what we can do. And um, they came up with a great product that uh, we'll be introducing to the customers later this year. And just out of curiosity, when, when will we expect to see those units start hitting actual job sites? So we've got a couple prototypes running around now, got a couple more coming in the next couple months just to gain some final feedback and help with some of our launch preparation. Start of production is going to be midsummer, and so we'll start seeing machines on job sites sometime in Q3. Hopefully get a chance to, you know, at that time go visit with some of those customers, get their initial feedback on what they like, what they don't like. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that we will have met our design targets and they'll be happy. So my next question is kind of piggybacking off what you just said. How do you go about designing a new piece of equipment? I mean, you guys, it's not like you had an existing platform you were working off of and then you kind of changed it a little bit or tweaked. This was an entirely new machine for you guys. What is the process for designing that? How do you go about that process? First off, there's lots of meetings and uh, those meetings range anywhere from, you know, discussions on, you know, what features and benefits do we want to incorporate that maybe other manufacturers don't have? What are some of the key targets that we're going to need to meet in order to hit a minimum expectation for the customer? And a lot of visits with customers, with dealers, with users, um, operators that are in the seat are the, the best source of, of feedback that we can gather on helping to design a product that meets their needs whether it be from a productivity perspective or comfort for that operator that's sitting in that machine all day long. And so 
there's lots of, you know, back and forth on, you know, do we include this? Do we not include that? You know, what will meet some of this, these minimum targets? And at the end of the day, our goal was to provide a machine that met or exceeded uh, those expectations. Now that you're fresh off of the design, it's actually in production. I have to ask you, and, and I'm going to have to dock you points if you don't know the answer because you just designed it. <laughs> what are some of the features that are going to set the deuce on dozer apart from your competitors? I noticed a couple differences in some spec sheet comparisons, and, and I'll let you get into those, but what's really going to set you guys apart? Sure. So we've got a, a machine, a, a prototype, or a couple of them running around now, and and the design targets for the that machine was to be a little bit heavier than some of the competition in that same size class. And as a result, our machine needed a little more horsepower to make sure that, that additional weight could move the machine and move the material that we wanted it to do. As a result, our engineers were able to put together a package that provides more horsepower and more weight. And that's really important for when you're pushing materials. And so if you can get that power to the ground, uh, get adequate traction, that power to weight ratio is really important when you're moving material with a, a dozer blade. And so our machine as designed will have a little more horsepower to weight ratio, therefore having a better pushing ability than a lot of the machines in that same size class. What are some of the key features that you guys would like to touch on on the machine? I was reading some of the, the sheets we're talking about. You guys had a, an eight inch touch display, if I remember right, in the machine. Correct. So our machines are designed to make sure the operator has all the information they need while they're operating to, to know what the machine's doing and, and keep a pulse on if there's, you know, a, an error code that might pop up, for example, or um, the ability to make some adjustments within that monitor. It is a touch screen and the operator can very easily move from screen to screen, check on, you know, operational parameters as well as make some of those fine tune adjustments with that, with that particular monitor. The benefit of this particular version is that that same monitor, the same hardware is in our excavator lineup as well as our wheel order lineup. And so if you have a fleet or an operator that does work in both of those, they're gonna feel very at home in the operator seat because the look and feel of the controls and the ergonomics of the the controls are similar across platforms where possible, and that really makes it easier for operators to jump from one machine to the next when they're on a job site. Now, I was reading that you guys are planning on having a GPS offering for this machine or GPS integration. Will that integrate directly with that touchscreen, or is that going to be a second module inside the cab? We have designed the cab so there will be a second module. Um, the, the monitor fits nicely above the current eight inch touchscreen. There's a, a mounting bracket that's designed to allow any of the monitors to, to fit into that space. And at the end of the day, it will look very similar to, to a factory installation for that, uh, that monitor. Then the nice thing that we have in our particular system is that we'll be able to have a maskless technology with the right type of sensors on the blade and the body of the machine. And so it really will help to enhance visibility when you're working on the job site. I know that you guys have talked about releasing, is it the DD-130 sometime next year? Is that correct? That's correct. So we currently have two sizes in the, the lineup that uh, approximately 10 metric ton and then the 13 metric ton machine. And those are going to be our initial offering for a period of time. And let us get our feet wet with uh, this new product category and potentially expand to other sizes, you know, after that time frame. And that kind of leads me into my, my final question, which is, in, in my mind, and manufacturers may think about this differently, but on the contractor side, there's kind of the 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 up to the D5, if you will, series dozers that are kind of the small dozers. And then you kind of cross a threshold when you step up into the, the larger class. Um, does Doosan have plans to start stepping into that larger dozer class down the road, or is it going to be primarily for um, the smaller size dozers for residential contractors and, and small finished dozer work? You know, initially, we're going to target that smaller contractor and the, the smaller machines that fit that type of uh, application. Um, in our analysis, even these two machines that we will be offering at the, the get-go hit a good majority of a lot of the markets and applications within the, the space. As you get into the larger and larger machines, uh, they become more, you know, mining applications and 
um, large mass excavation uh, projects. And our customers are working on, you know, residential work. They're working on some light duty, commercial, road construction. And these two size classes of machine really hit the uh, market very well. So uh, I envision that the product line will, will grow slightly, but uh, at the get-go, it's going to focus on that smaller uh, size range. Sure. That makes total sense. Well, Aaron, anything else you'd like to add regarding the, the launch of the new DD100? You know, we're excited to get it in more hands of customers as the, the true like demo and prototype machines uh, become available in the next few months, uh, working towards that Q3, you know, mass availability. And uh, we're really excited to be able to offer this new category of equipment. You know, it's not something that we've done for a while. Our teams have been focusing on making adjustments for engine tiers and, you know, other adjustments with our, our machines to make them you know, more technology advanced, and we're excited to be able to just do something brand new. And so uh, having this dozer available is gonna be gonna be fun for a lot of our staff and our dealers. You know what, I lied earlier when I told you that was my last question, because you just made me think of something else. <laughs> what do you guys have for an after treatment package on this machine? So this machine will be uh, an SCR based machine. Uh, it will be a DPF less uh, unit. And one of the things that I did want to mention is that we were able to, in light of operators' need for great visibility, uh, incorporate the uh, air pre-cleaner into the the engine bonnet. So it's it's in, contained within the engine cover, and so it provides additional visibility um, above the, the bonnet towards the blade as well as to the side of the machine. Perfect. Well, I'm going to be honest. As a contractor, I'm excited to get my hands on one of these and do a little experimenting at some point. Well, we'd love to get uh, get you behind the controls and push some dirt. Well, thank you again for Aaron and Dusan taking the time to chat with us about the new DD100 dozer. I, I've got to be honest. I, I am truly excited to see this dozer come to market. Anytime there's a new product offering, that's always something I get excited about because I'm curious to see the new manufacturers take on an, on a machine that we're all very familiar and well versed in. So with that being said, I hope this was helpful. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Dirt.